Hello, everybody. Welcome to JJ Center Online Franchise Highlight Show. And yes, I had to show you that beginning because for some reason, when I record videos, there's always this little bit of a like mess up whenever I first record. And I don't know where it's come from, but I wanted to leave it in there so you could hear that little chipmunk music. So, anyways, this is it, folks. Week 16 of JJ Center 1 and week 14 of JJ Center 2. JJ Center 2, I have a playoff picture. JJ Center 1, all the playoffs are set. Next week, I will do a video about the playoffs. Important, all the playoff people, I already messaged them. Playoffs start Monday. As soon as you get done with your playoff games, I will advance the week. That's just how I'm going to do it. Advance it. If you play Monday and get all your games done, every single one of you, I'll advance to the next round of the playoffs that same day. I don't care. I will advance as soon as you're all done. So that that's the rules of the playoffs. I already messaged everybody. Here is Maddie T versus Mokling. Both of them have made the playoffs, and here is a good show of what the potential Super Bowl would be. Mokling with the Steelers. Maddie T from Australia. Yes, mate. Playing with the Panthers, doing damage, making the playoffs with the Panthers. Name me one other person who could do that. Well, Probably all of you. But anyways, we're having fun there. Moving over to Cronker and the Jets versus Charlie Murph. Charlie Murph, sickly, is moving in the head. Look at this, 48-45. to 45. This is what I'm talking about. Even a high-scoring game, staying close. Look at, the, look at the scores every quarter. Just that one field goal at the second half won the game for Charlie Murph. Both of these teams are in the playoffs, Cronker and Charlie Murph. Charlie Murph made it through a wild card. He started with... With 0 and 5, the Bears. He has now and since become 8 and 6 or 8 and 9 and 6 or whatever. He made the playoffs. Folks, I am so impressed with that. I'm so thankful for him. Uh, Charlie Murph, just keep it keep it real, man. He doesn't do any glitch sacks. He just plays for real. He kicks field goals. He wins games. And uh, USS Defiant versus Big Dodd. Miami versus the little brown, uh, Browns, the, the Lions here. Big Dodd's a new member of our uh, little system here. We're going to try him out, see how he does. Hopefully he gets all his games played. Can't complain right now. He's getting everything taken care of. But my man, USS Defiant, taking care of business. Calvin Johnson catching a couple of touchdowns to win it for him. And the Chiefs versus the Titans. Who the heck has the Chiefs? Oh, yeah, the Red Album versus Skyline and the Chiefs. Look at this, 24-21. to 21. Don't know how he kept it close, but I'm very impressed, Skyline. You were the man. The Red Album, also a playoff contender. He has made the playoffs as a um, – he. well, we're not sure if he won the thing yet because uh, we're currently in week 17 as we talk Like, because I, I make these videos through the week of the next week. And uh, so I'm watching everything. So I know the playoffs are done because Charlie Murph won his game and his only chance of someone else not playing was – if he had lost so but here is fresh to death versus Steven the beast 28 to 27 folks this is what my franchise is all about this is what it's about close games having fun freaking out at the last second fresh to death had the ball for most of the game i showed you that at the beginning fresh to death also a playoff contender with the Giants, winning the division. Uh, very proud of him. He has played almost all of his games. Thank you so much for joining. Steven the Beast, just a faithful player. He's never missed a game since he's played with me on this franchise. Here are the standings. As we talk, this is what it's all about. You got to witness me has not lost a game. There is me, 8-8. Eight and eight. I won my game this week. I did not make the playoffs. Look at here. Look at this. Skyline Kings, 7-8. and eight. We have Maddie winning out the division in the NFC South. There is the playoff picture. As clear as can be, here are the power rankings. No matter who has made the playoffs, here is how, how they rank up power-wise. You got to witness me. has lost a game. That's why he's on the top. Charlie Murph is just underneath just because of his team. Here are the playoffs. This is what it looks like. Uh, these are the division winners. Dirty in the Chargers and the Red Album in the Chiefs. I'm not sure how they're going to end up. One of them is going to win the division. One's going to be in the wild card. That depends on if they win their games. Here is the NFC playoffs. Thank you and congratulations to all of you making the playoffs. I'm proud of every single one of you. Moving on to JJ Center 2. Z-Man versus somebody in the Titans. Iron Man 1793C. This is good. I used to put the names up there. That way I could see them. Hey, Trevdo, how you doing? Some of you know Trevdo. Watch his videos on Machinima. He does all the hockey stuff. He's amazing. Also, Call of Duty and Black Ops. But Z-Man, with us from the beginning. Facing off against Iron Man with us from the beginning. beginning. Just impressive. Here is Akuno and Dairo Lover. Dairo Lover? Um, 
Look at this score, 36 to 35. Fourth quarter, 15 seconds to go, taking the, taking the lead here. Dairu has lost all the games he's played so far by like three points total combined. <laughs> Dude, bad beats out the hizzle, man. I'm so proud of him. Thank you, Dairu Lever, for just being a great addition to my franchise. You are the reason why I do this. Thank you so much. Akuno, I'm proud of you. Now here it is. Call me touch. 63-62. to 62. It only took him seven times to play this game. It was versus the CPU. I wish it was not. I told him I would never highlight a CPU game if you play a CPU. But he, folks, has done the impossible. He has made an, a CPU game entertaining by throwing for over 1,000 yards and 9 touchdowns. I'm not going to lie, that's impressive when you can do that against the CPU, because how many of us play the CPU, and I'm not going to lie, I told him I had a better game than him, because I won my Bills game with the Patriots 45 to nothing, and he only won 63 to 62, but Antonio Gates had six touchdowns, so I don't know what to say here. Randy Moss had four, and almost tied the record with five, but I threw a touchdown to Wes Walker instead, and I screwed up, but folks, here's my game versus Untouchable. This is the one where I'm not going to tell you if I won or lost, but he kicked the ball off to me, and I ran it back with Trenton Holiday. Isn't that sick? Look at that. Look at my little man go. He's like five foot nothing. Duntouchable is freaking out right now. Duntouchable is one of our better players, too, and I thought I was going to get my butt handed to me. So I'm going to do my best to show you how the game was played. Now, here's the Wildcat, and I shifted and flipped my play to the wrong side. See how I have a heavy blitz to the wrong side of the field? That sucker ran the wild card on me, and I I seen the wild card, but you don't know which side it's coming from, so I have my play that I audible to, and um, it usually stops. It's just an over low blitz on one side and it usually takes care of the wild cart uh the wild whatever the heck it is the wild cat but sean springs a pickup off the free agency picks me off when i really needed this touchdown um he comes back here and gets a touchdown to todd heap it looks like um, right right there before the half and I'm, I'm charging down the field again really needing a touchdown look at andre johnson jumping it out he tried to jump me on an interception but when andre johnson catches the ball he is gone and the reason why i'm highlighting this too is because this was one of the most epic games i've ever played because the same exact thing right when i throw to matt gilliard my my freaking slot guy, he picked me off twice on goal routes, and I was just freaking out because that's I really needed those wins, you know, and I put Trenton Holiday in there because he's really fast, you know, instead of having Matt Gilliard there, and the Wildcat again got a touchdown off of me, tied me up 21-21, to going into the fourth quarter at two minutes to go, fourth down and whatever, I decided to punt the ball, and I, I put it pretty good, I put it down at the, what, what's that, the seven? Uh, popped out to about the 12. Oh, no, he, uh, about the 12, yeah. And, well, so he does a two-minute drill here. He got a minute and 20 seconds to go, third and 10, and he does a draw on me. And uh, Dunn's was a great runner. He did good. He put Pat White in at the end to try and win the game. And look at this. I, I just don't understand why the CPU does not control that better. I, I mean, you got a guy running right in front of you. There's no one there. Why, why does it do that? But Mario Williams almost sacks him at the end of the game with no timeouts to go, and folks – Gave him a chance when he threw the ball away to kick a field goal and win the game by two freaking points. Folks, that is the most amazing game you will ever see. I want to thank you for watching my show, JJ Center, online franchise. Here we are, week 13 of, well, week 14, sorry. True to the game, taking care of business, 11-2, call me touch, 11-2. Probably both of them are going to get the buys for the playoffs. Uh, Holy Vigilante looking to hold on strong with a playoff berth, potential wild card. Uh, my pot's gone, 8-5, and five, getting trying to get the wild card also. Diary Lover definitely going to control the NFC South, although he took a loss, uh, hopefully, because Mr. Stortz is not playing his schemes. I don't know what's going to happen, but here are the power rankings with JJ Center 2. Call me touch on top of true to the game. They, can't, they haven't played each other yet, so I don't know how good they are compared to each other, but they both are sick. Um, but here's the playoff picture for JJ Center 2. Charlie Murph and Holly Vigilante holding off the wild card, trying to keep USS Defined, Detouchable, STK, and Johnny Boy from grabbing it. Um, STK did give Holy Vigilante a chance to play his game to get the wild card, but thank you so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.